Hey everybody, back again with another card session. Tonight I'm going to be doing Wembley Fraggle from the Fraggle Rock show on HBO from the 80s. I'm not sure who owns this one, so I'm just going to put uh, Fraggle Rock and leave it alone. Um, sharing this over with the page real quick before we go live, and then we're going to knock this out. So it should be a quick one, I hope. Uh, I'm not going to keep you on too long. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Hey, Matt. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to grab the old colors, as it were, and check my reference, and then we're going. Okay. So we got the orange for the hair, the light yellow for the skin, and then the orange for the shirt and the green for the palm trees we're gonna make them bright and a super light brown here for coloring those trees as well okay cool now I am ready to do this yeah sorry about that I didn't have my setup done because I was busy coloring some pages so you guys can have some stuff going on this week. Also, I put another podcast in the can today with uh, Mr. Brian Salinas, an uh, uh, independent comic artist buddy of mine. And uh, we recorded a nice session today. And I booked about, oh, 40-some-odd people for upcoming podcast in about 20 minutes today it was awesome I appreciate you guys signing up and saying yes to the return of comic Kickstarter the comic Kickstarter show which will premiere on comic kickstarter.com and I'm uh, gonna be recording all week long and knocking this stuff out between now and next week I've still got some slots open for later dates. Um, uh, I still got slots open this week as well, but uh, I've booked up the sweet spots. So you'll have to contact me if you want to get on. Uh, I know this is the card show, but if you want to get on and get on the podcast, you definitely can do that. I am open to that, but you have to be sure and get involved and you know, make sure you're coming on and whatnot so that I know you're there. I know a lot of people are checking it out. Um, this is part of the work that I started on the 15th through the 25th to get this stuff live back for you guys. And I've got so many followers now on, uh, on Comic Kickstarter that are begging me to get the show going and, uh, going and returned back for this new volume. And I am so excited and thankful for you guys to do that. And no, I'm not shamelessly plugging this tonight. Um, that's not what this is about. It's just what's on topic for me at the moment. Um, I have been just hammering this out with these sets of books and whatnot and getting these new properties back up and revamped and released for you guys, you know, to the point of coming back and whatnot. And I really wanted to get them going and... Uh, Bring it all together for you guys because uh, these podcasts are going to be entertaining, helpful, training, as well as hanging out and talking about uh, what everybody's got on their mind and, you know, uh, wants to hear from the industry. You know what I mean? Um, if you don't know what I mean, I'll tell you, plain and simple, just watch the show and find out. <laughs> I know that's a heck of a teaser, but. Uh, when Bob Gar and I did Volume 1, I've got probably 20 extra shows out of that that I did not ever let air because we were supposed to come back and uh, Bob was supposed to come back on, but due to uh, some health issues and uh, other issues going on with him, he never came back. And uh, now I know he's working with uh, a few people and he's come back slowly. And congrats to him for coming back up. Uh, he was offline for a while, and now he is working back again. 
and I'm hoping that uh, maybe I'll get to talk to him on, down the line somewhere, you know. But, um, yeah, that's one of those things where he just kind of decided to change up, change gears, and move on from everybody he was working with prior. And uh, that's one of those things, you know. Uh, people make choices, and they have to walk their own beat and walk their own path. I have nothing ill against Bob at all. He's still a good dude. Um, as far as the podcast goes, I will be having some guest hosts sit in now and again. And uh, we're going to have some people on, and we're going to be talking shop and hanging out. And it's going to be regular, weekly, not daily like this card show. It will be... Uh, a weekly project because with the web comics and things coming up and then with the regular comics coming out uh, towards the end of the month I just don't have the time and uh, the time and reach to get in there to get everything that I want done and do a daily show at that caliber and that level uh, so I'm sorry for anybody that would like that right now that's not in the cards but it definitely will be there every single week. So once it launches, I've got plenty of content coming up. You guys will definitely have that going on. And it will be consistent because it's pre-recorded. It will be posted and set and left for you guys to listen at your leisure. So I just wanted to say that and get that going. Oops, forgot the lower hair there. I want to make sure we get all that. Get that crazy chest hair out of there. Now I'm going across the line here because I want to bring out a little of that extra graphite because this is uh, on his chest. And I want to give it just a shadow effect, just a little bit darker. But the graphite in there is just enough to give it a natural shadow. So I'm pulling it out. Most people would be screaming, it's smearing the graphite. But the thing is, it gives it a natural shade to it to make it just a touch darker. See there? And on this particular card, that's what I want to do. So that's where we're at. But um, anyway, I'm going to go in here and color these flowers. I put flowers instead of the blocks that are behind his shirt. Um, <clears throat> the sunrise. And whatnot because it just didn't translate for me as happy go lucky as this one did. I smudged it a little bit. I'll have to erase that right there. But anyway, it's normally got these little blocks behind it, these sunrise prints. But I went with that because it was just easier at the time. And it had a better feel to it. So I wanted to make this one distinct. If you looked at it, I wanted it, you to know it was mine, and I ran over with the color there. I'll have to erase that a little bit. If you make mistakes, it's all right. Just go back and clean them up, you know? But uh, anyway, I'm hoping, like I said, I wish Bob Gar the best because he is a really cool dude. I miss hanging with him, but he had to go do his own thing, and I completely understand and respect that. But I am still here, and now I have time to come back with the revamped site for Comic Kickstarter and reboot the show with the new volume, and it's going to be fun. It's already been fun. I've been having a blast interviewing everybody. Um, I got in, like I said, one with Brian Salinas tonight, and I have uh, a few more guests on tomorrow. I have two, and then... Thursday I have two, or Thursday I have one, Friday I have two, so yeah, I'm, I'm right there, man, I'm right there, I am enjoying this, and I'm dropping my gear, okay, uh, I need to go with this soft maroon here for his mouth, So we can get his uh, mouth colored up. And then I'll color his tongue, which is a 
a pinkish red color and I'll gray tone the uh, the shirt there and that will be it cool deal all right now I'm really enjoying doing these cards for you guys and I don't want to stop doing them this is our 178 or I'm sorry 278 show as a date and I'm really 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 digging this want to keep these going hit that year mark see where we go from there and I may keep going as long as you guys dig it I found out today that apparently I have a bigger fan base than I thought, which uh, is a huge blessing and surprise to me. It's a shock. I didn't realize it was that big, but uh, I don't know how or why it got that way, but I so appreciate you guys being there. That's awesome. I found out I have my own little underground fan club which I appreciate very much and I'm honored that you guys spend that much time on my stuff so very appreciative and I'm gonna knock this out like that go in on the other side a little bit here think we're doing okay there cool deal I'm gonna give a little bit of a soft push here to his eyes underneath kind of Jim Hansen style which yes I do know the fraggles are a Jim Hansen creation but still what I'm saying is, is that he had a distinct look to where he would cup like this underneath the eyes and then he would shade them in. <clears throat> and his artwork designed because it would show the light of the of the character's eyeballs sticking out. So, anyway, we have Wembley. I hope you guys dig it. And again, I'm sorry I'm not so late. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a progression for a page. And I'm going to be walking you guys through the process of storytelling and viewing on a template which ie a page to get story flow through it and show how it works and how you connect uh, the dots and paste it and use a ruler you know to lay out the actual lines where the page connects and all that and it's gonna be cool I promise you you're gonna have fun if you're interested in how pages lay out and how visual storytelling works without words being involved and read your eye through the page and how you get connected with that I'm gonna show you that lesson tomorrow on how to make comics so i appreciate you guys hanging out here's wembley hope you enjoyed it talk to you tomorrow and i am clear see ya